In the previous video, I showed you how to construct major scales using naturals and sharps. This video will demonstrate how to construct scales using naturals and flats. Remember, when choosing a name for the next note in a major scale, always use the next letter in the alphabet up to the letter G, which will then be followed by the letter A. Here is the pattern which you can follow to help you organize the scales according to the number of flats they contain. Beginning with the C major scale, if you create a new scale starting on the fourth note of the current scale, the new scale will have one more flat. Notice that the fourth note of the scale is also the fifth note when counting down from the top note, also a tonic note. Notice that the C major scale has no flats. Notice the lower and upper tetrachords, a C major tetrachord and a G major tetrachord. Locate the fourth note of the scale. Let's construct a new major scale on the fourth note of the C major scale, the note F. Let's apply the major scale template and locate the required notes. Notice that the upper tetrachord of the F major scale is the same as the lower tetrachord of the C major scale. Notice that to be true to the template, we have to lower the fourth note B to a B flat to maintain a half step between the third and fourth notes and a whole step between the fourth and fifth notes. Notice that there are now two major tetrachords in succession separated by a whole step, an F major tetrachord and a C major tetrachord. Notice that the F major scale has one more flat than the previous scale of C major. Locate the fourth note. Let's construct a new major scale on the fourth note of the F major scale, the note B flat. Let's apply the major scale template and locate the required notes. Notice that the upper tetrachord of the B-flat major scale is the same as the lower tetrachord of the F major scale. Notice that to be true to the template, we have to lower the fourth note to maintain the correct pattern of whole steps and half steps. Notice that the B-flat from the F major scale is retained and occurs twice as the tonic note at the start and end of the scale. When counting flats in the scale, the two tonic notes, B-flats, only count as one flat. The B-flat major scale has two flats in total. A new flat has been added to the fourth note. Notice the two major tetrachords in succession separated by a whole step, a B-flat major tetrachord and an F major tetrachord. Locate the fourth note. Let's construct a new major scale on the fourth note of the B-flat major scale, the note E-flat. Notice which notes have to be lowered in order for the scale to be true to the template. Notice how the flats from the previous scale have been retained and a new flat has been added to the fourth note. Notice the tetrachords. Let's construct a new major scale on the fourth note of the E flat major scale, the note A flat. Notice which notes have to be lowered in order for the scale to be true to the template. Notice how the flats from the previous scale have been retained and a new flat has been added to the fourth note. Notice the tetrachords. Let's construct a new major scale on the fourth note of the A flat major scale, the note D flat. Notice which notes have to be lowered in order for the scale to be true to the template. Notice how the flats from the previous scale have been retained and a new flat has been added to the fourth note. Notice the tetrachords. Let's construct a new major scale on the fourth note of the D flat major scale, the note G flat. Notice which notes have to be lowered in order for the scale to be true to the template. Notice how the flats from the previous scale have been retained and a new flat has been added to the fourth note. Notice the tetrachords. Let's construct a new major scale on the fourth note of the G flat major scale, the note C flat. Notice that all of the notes have to be lowered in order for the scale to be true to the template. Notice how the flats from the previous scale have been retained and a new flat has been added to the fourth note. Notice the tetrachords. Now that all the notes have flats, we will end the exercise. If you continue on, you will encounter major scales that require the use of doubly flattened notes. Major scales with double flats are never used. The notes are renamed using naturals and sharps instead. Here are all the scales we constructed in this video. Notice how the flats are organized. Notice how the lower tetrachord in one scale becomes the upper tetrachord in the next.